Good morning students. Welcome to classes on agricultural economics. Today we will be dealing with agricultural price policy in India. Now let us focus on agricultural price policy in India from 1947 to 2020. So here we will be first discussing about agricultural price policy since 1947. Agricultural price policy in India was introduced since independence. The government of India first introduced a committee called Food Grain Policy Committee in the year 1947. And this committee was established to study the agricultural situation in the country. And after intensive study, Food Grain, food grain a Policy Committee recommended a policy of progressive decontrol, reduction in import of food grains and substantial increase in production of food grain. So Food Grain Policy Committee was the first committee uh, established by Government of India and this committee recommended uh, Government of India to reduce food imports. So when food imports are reduced, in order to balance this, this committee recommended to increase food production domestically. So uh, first and foremost uh, a recommendation of food grain policy committee was to reduce imports of food grains and to increase food production domestically. Second committee was introduced after three years in 1950 and the committee's name is Food Grain Procurement Committee and uh, this committee made another intensive study and they have recommended government to introduce system of rationing and control of control in the supply of food grains in the country. So these, these two committees were the first two committees introduced by government of India. And these committees gave more importance to the interest of consumers. Till 1964, the main objective of price policy in India was to protect the interest of consumers. And the policies have not paid enough attention uh, to the interest of farmers or interest of producers. It was only in 1964, a clear-cut policy was introduced in India for providing incentive price to farmers. So, it was only in 1964, uh, uh, co the committees give importance to uh, the interest of producers. So, before 1964, uh, the, the important objective of price policy in India was to protect the interest of consumers. Only after 1964, uh, price policies in India gave, gave more importance to the interest of producers or interest of farmers. In 1964, a clear-cut policy was introduced in India and this policy was introduced uh, as, a, as a result of the recommendations made by Food Grain Price Committee, which was appointed in the year 1964. So, Food Grain Price Committee was the first committee that gave more importance to the interest of, interest of producers. So, this committee recommended to introduce minimum support price and to provide incentive prices to farmers or the producers. After two years, government appointed another food grain policy committee in the year 1966 and this committee made uh, several recommendations to government of India. We will be discussing Three important recommendations made by this new committee. Um, first recommendation. So this new committee recommended government to announce minimum support price well in advance to the sowing season. So uh, the committee recommended government uh, that if they wish to increase the food production in the country, then they have to announce minimum support price well in advance to the sowing season. See, if uh, 
minimum support price is announced well in advance to the sowing season then farmers are guaranteed minimum support price uh, they know they are going to get minimum support price for their product whatever happens in the future so they will invest more in uh, agriculture sector and this will increase food production in the economy so uh, first recommendation of this new committee was to uh, to announce minimum support price well in advance to the sowing season second important recommendation made by this committee is to keep procurement price well above or higher than the support price so second recommendation made by the committee in committee uh, established in 1966 is to keep the procurement price higher than support price so when procurement price is placed higher than support price uh, farmers will be given a uh, proper incentive to uh, invest in their farms as well as consumers will get uh, reasonable prices for their product so second important um, recommendation of this particular committee is to keep procurement price higher than support price third important recommendation made by this committee is to bring about stability in minimum support price so if government wishes to increase long term investment in agriculture sector then government needs to bring about a stability in minimum support price so if minimum support price are fairly stable farmers will invest more or farmers will um, make long term investment in farms so the three important recommendations made by food grain policy committee in the year 1966 is uh, is to announce minimum support price well in advance to the sowing season second is to place a uh, procurement price higher than support price and third recommendation is to bring about stability in minimum support prices another important step taken by government of india was the establishment of food corporation of india so another important step taken by government of india was the establishment of food corporation of india fci in the year 1965 so fci was set up for making necessary procurement storage and distribution of food grains at present government decides on minimum support price for various agricultural commodities taking into uh, consideration the recommendation of commission for agricultural cost and prices so now agricultural policy are taken by government of india on the basis of recommendations made by CACP or Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices. So this is a this is the overview of agricultural price policy in in India from 1947 to 2020. So there were several committees or commissions. Uh, several commissions were established uh, by government of India, and the latest one is. CACP Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices and now agricultural price policies are taken by government on the basis of recommendations made by CACP